Half time with Danny Mount Park and it is Bohemians 4, Bray Wanderers nil. A brace from Daniel Kelly, new signing from Bray, uh, scoring against his old club on, his uh, on their playing against him for the first time. Uh, penalty from Dinny Corcoran and uh, Kevin Devaney with a great strike uh, to put a 4 0 at half time. Pretty, pretty easy enough for Bow so far. Yeah, I haven't seen Bow play like this all season. They're in a great form, uh, especially after last week. Lost three or it wasn't last week, but they lost three 0 to Sligo. Much needed win. Uh, well, it will be a win. Um, I think it says a lot. Like the best player for Bray today has been their keeper, and they're four 0 down. Uh, it's not the same Bray team we've seen during the season. They've been picking up a few results. Uh, I think uh, we all know the, what the results are going to be full time. Yeah. Um, obviously, players, Bray players calling off their strike, but um, with the manager leaving like yesterday, I think it was. It's, it's, uh, it's not looking good for the season now, and it's looking like they're kind of nearly giving up at this stage. Um, they've called off their strike so far, but uh, if they don't get paid, the, the next monthly payment is due next week. So if they don't get that, they could they could go back on strike. So uh, it's not looking good for them. Uh, we'll try to grab a few fans. I was fan Park at half time. Uh, good start so far. Uh, great start. Great game. It, it was a shame the first goal was ruled out, but the the next two were sublime. Well, especially Dinny Corkin's goal. It was it was just well placed. He uh, anticipated the space well, and he really showed his uh, prowess. And uh, going to second half now, what are you expecting? More goals? Or? Um, I'm expecting Bray to come out fighting a bit more. Probably getting a like a bit of a a, bur a boost. Not from Martin Russell, as we know. From yeah. Do we know the do we know the the standing coach? I'm not. I don't think they have, I'm not even sure if they have one. I'm not sure. They don't even have a coach at the moment, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, whoever, yesterday the manager left. So. Whoever it is, the probably the old first team coach is obviously going to put a bit of steel into the halftime talk. And Gary McCabe is after getting a bit of abuse from the fans, yeah. so he's going to come back with a with a bit of attack and prowess. I hope. And a scoreline prediction for the for the game. So it's three nil now. Four. Four nil now. Yeah. I'd say it'll finish 6-0. Six 6-0, nil. Six nil. perfect. Thank you very much for your time. No Thank you, pleasure. Just here at Mick after the game. Great win, great performance. Yeah, yeah. great. Great. Yeah. great. Um, big, big change from last week, losing 3-0, yeah. you know, so it's uh, nights like this, of course, you feel part of the League of Ireland family, you feel sorry for Bray, but um, at the same time, you don't get many nights like you get, you get a nice 6 0 win, that's pretty nice. But the performance is excellent, but uh, the, result, the result was that more of uh, Bray's kind of poor performance or but it was being really good? Well, I think it was a bit of a reaction from the, the, the less than perfect performance last week when we lost 3 0 to Slide of Rovers, so yeah, it was great. <laughs> We, I can't find anything bad to say about it tonight, you know. Yeah. Obviously, it's great to see a few young players as well. Love fantastic, them. yeah, fantastic yeah. to see that. Great to see uh, Mark Gorson, is that his name? Christian Mark Gorson get this chance tonight and getting on the score sheet with practically his first time, which was fantastic. Perfect, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Let's hear Keane and Leon after the game. Boys, great performance. What's the think of the game? Yeah, it was very good from Bowers. I think they played well and uh, good goal. Good goal. Yeah, a major result there to be Bray 6 0. But like, it was, I think it should have been more to be honest yeah. like about 7 or 8 yeah, the, that, the Bray goalkeeper was had a good game and it was still 6 nil. literally um, yeah. do you think it was more Bray's bad performance or the result after you see 6 nil? Uh, was it more Bray, Bray being poor or Bowes being really good uh, I think it was Bray being a bit poor but like Bowes actually played really well to me compared to last week the training I lost against Ligo but like yeah, yeah. yeah I fair. think uh, Bowes played well but Bray was just not good not good enough and obviously moved into seventh position tonight. Uh, how far can it go now? Ten games left. Is there any aims for the rest of the season? Now? Hopefully, about fourth, fifth, fourth or fifth. Hopefully, yeah. top half. Yeah, top yeah half, just yeah. not to get relegated. That's what you don't want. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time, lads. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. See you a few Bowes fans after the game. Great performance. Great result tonight, lads. What do you make of it? Absolutely destroyed them. Annihilated them. <laughs> oh, what a result. Dan Kelly is a baller. Kevin Devaney is like Messi. Messi is just terrible. Like it's just he's unbelievable. Like, like I have no words. Well, yeah, it was a great Bray game. Poor Bray though. Come on. This here, he's a Rovers fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <man. laughs> what do you think of Rovers? Obviously, signing Dylan Watts. How's that going now in the Bells camp as well? Fantastic. <laughs> Fuck Dylan Watts. <laughs> Kevin Devaney. Has that, has that been a big loss to at all? Or? I has, yeah, for sure. Look, Kevin Devaney's a baller, you know. Dinny's a baller. Dan Kelly's a baller. Shane Supple, I don't know. Uh, really he's on steroids or something. Yeah. I don't know. Running up and down the pitch like can't. Good to see a few young lads like Jay Lunny in there as well. Like a few. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Andy Lyons, he's, he was a good player as well. Made a few good tackles and everything. Good he, run. Hit the bar, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He, he didn't get to take a penalty. I think he yeah. deserved his hat-trick, though. Yeah. Yeah. Key Ward ran the show. 
Yeah. Well, I was Man, heartbroken that Dini missed that penalty. Yeah. <laughs> and also for the rest of the season, even to seventh tonight, what, how's, what's the highest you can achieve this season after the rest of the ten games left? Probably seventh, yeah. Seventh, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventh. Seventh. Yeah. No, we'll no chance of a top that. half finish right now. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks very much for your time, oh, Matt. Cheers. You. Just here at Paddy and Park uh, after the game. Obviously, Park talking to you at half time, got the results right. Must be delighted with the result. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure I'm wearing the balls reason for jersey for a reason, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, was a f- it was brilliant, and it's actually the, the results and the results over in Limerick against Pats means that. Bowls are nearly safe for the for the for the year. Yeah. What's yourself? I I thought Bray were shocking. I thought it was a bit fraudulent. I thought I thought the senior players hung the younger players out to dry. I yeah. thought it was scary. Do you think there was almost more to do with Bray being poor tonight than bowls being really good? Or? Yeah, big time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought. Uh, no, it was nice for it was nice for bowls, but. It, but a spectator at one stage behind me said it's like backs against forwards, like you know. Yeah. So uh, fair play to you boys. This is impressive. Thanks very much. Yeah, yeah and you yeah. always pick the good-looking fans out, yeah. do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is really impressive. Thanks right? very much. Yeah. I like this the logo as well. Yeah. This was uh, Dylan's first experience of League of Ireland. How did you find the first experience? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I was the watched the hammering, so. Uh, yeah. It was uh, How pretty many goals good. Did we miss? Plenty of goals. I missed, I missed a lot of them, but I saw a few of them. Saw about three or four of them. So, yeah. perfect. Thank you very much for your time, Anthony. Anyway. Cheers. Full time at Daily Mount Park. Uh, Bohemian six. Bray Wanderers nil. Uh, disappointing for Bray. Obviously, uh, came into it off the back of a win over Sligo, but um, Bowes obviously coming in with a three 0 loss to Sligo. So it was a weird one. But uh, Bowes dominated from start to finish. Um, picked up two in the second half. Comfortable enough throughout, really. Yeah, little to no chance for Bray. I think uh, Bowes could have definitely got a few more. Could have been pff, 7 8 nil. Uh, fair to say. Uh, yeah, I said at half-time, best player for Bray was their keeper, and they got hammered. Like, it's just, yeah, saved the penalty. Uh, surprised Danny Kelly wasn't allowed to take it. Uh, nearly got a hat-trick uh, against his old club. Would have been brilliant. But, uh, yeah, some of the fans said it there. You had to feel sorry for Bray. Uh, whatever's happened, like, losing a few, a few players... Like, it's just not surprised they lost this game, really, and it's just not surprised how they're going to finish the season. I don't think I think everyone knows that it's going to be them and or Limerick. Uh, Limerick won tonight as well. Yeah, the Limerick, got, yeah, Limerick got a result tonight as well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, dark times for Bray and uh, dark times for the fans. I uh, didn't see many fans there. I doubt we'll even get any interviews with them, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dis- 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 Disappointing for Bray. Uh, it's, just a sad, it's just a sad time for the club, really. The players just didn't really look like they were... Like, they, they, they're, I don't know, fully committed or something. I don't know. I don't want to question them on that, but it's just like it's not clicking. It's not. It's not working. And uh, well, Bose had a lot of positives to take from it. It was kind of an exhibition game, to be honest. But uh, Bose did have a lot to take from it. Played lovely football. Uh, a couple of the young, a lot of young lads got to run out and uh, played really well. Uh, a lot of positives for Bose tonight. But that wraps this video up, guys. Please uh, make sure to like, share, and make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks. Bray captain. Garam Cave after a horrendous 6 a loss for his Bray team. Anyone want to go out for a warm down, lads? No? Okay. Wages, have I? <laughs>